In order to solve this question, we're going to be using the length contraction formula. And that looks like this. So we get that L is equal to the proper length times the square root of one minus the velocity over the speed of light squared. Now we're going to go ahead and rearrange this formula and solve for the velocity because the question is asking for the speed of the spaceship. So in order to do that, we're going to square both sides of the equation so that we get L squared is equal to the proper length squared times 1 minus v squared over c squared. Next, we'll go ahead, divide both sides by the proper length squared, and we'll go ahead and move over the v squared over c squared, and we set that all equal to 1. Next, we'll go ahead and move over the l squared over the proper length squared to the other side. And afterwards, we're going to take the square root on both sides, and we'll go ahead and cross multiply so that we get the velocity is equal to the speed of light times the square root of 1 minus the length minus the proper length to the second power. Now we'll take the given information. We were told that the length of a moving spaceship is 28 meters. That right there is the proper length. Now the contracted length is not 15 centimeters. What we have to do is take this number here and subtract it from 28 meters. The reason being is that it's telling us right here that the spaceship contracted by 15 centimeters. So we need to find the contracted length. Now, when we go ahead and plug in all the numbers right here, we'll get that the velocity is equal to 0.103 times the speed of light. And this is typical of what your solutions will be. You don't need to actually expand the speed of light variable. We don't need to multiply by three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. We can just simply leave it in this reduced form right here. 